If the owner chose which trucks would get the fuel additive, he might accidentally choose the trucks that already get the best MPG. Maybe he'd choose the cleaner trucks, or the ones with newer engines. Or maybe he'd choose the worst trucks. We don't want to leave it up to the owner. We want to use random assignment. Random assignment is important to create roughly equivalent groups of trucks and balance the effects of lurking variables. This can be done by first assigning each of the 40 trucks a number from 1 to 40. Next, place 40 equally sized pieces of paper that are numbered from 1 to 40 in a hat and mix them up. Then draw 20 numbers without replacement and use the corresponding trucks to give the fuel additive to. Now this random assignment method may not sound that efficient, but it's perfectly fine for the AP. Even if there was thousands of trucks and the process would take hours, as long as you describe it fairly and it's a fair random assignment, you'll get full credit on the AP exam. If I was actually doing this random assignment, I'd probably use a calculator. So if I press math and I go over to PRB, probability, down here I have the random integer with no repeat option. I'm going to put 1 for my lower limit and 40 for my upper limit, and then put 20 for my sample size. When I press enter, it gives me the 20 trucks that I'll give the fuel additive to. So that's a lot easier, but maybe not as easy to describe as the hat method. I like to use diagrams to outline my experimental designs. So we're going to start with 40 trucks, and then we're going to use random assignment to divide the trucks into two groups, a group of 20 trucks and 20 trucks. We're going to give one of the groups of trucks the fuel additive. That's our treatment group. The other group of trucks we're not going to do anything to. Then we're going to compare the MPG between the two groups. No, the driver should not be told about the experiment. If the truck drivers know which trucks have the additive, they may alter their driving patterns, either intentionally or unconsciously. This might affect the MPG and confound with the fuel additive. It'd be difficult for us to tell what caused the increase in MPG, the fuel additive or the driver's behavior. Not telling the drivers is a form of blinding. That's a good thing to have in an experiment. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.